We're going to take a closer look into audio interfaces, what they do, and why a good one is so important. In this episode of Building Our First DAW, we're going to take a look at speakers, or monitors, the way we listen to the sound coming from our DAW. Today, we use a number of devices to listen to music. We have phones, we have cars, headphones, speakers. These devices are a way that our sound gets converted from digital to audio. So it goes without saying, monitors are very important. What you hear comes from your monitors if you have a crappy pair of little monitors, you're not going to have a very good representation of what the audio actually is. So when you mix, you're not going to have a very accurate mix. I suggest buying powered monitors these days because they tend to be designed to sound better. Every little component has been considered, including the amplifiers, so they sound fantastic. Basically, we have a number of choices with monitors as well. We have small little unpowered monitors where you need to have a little power amp. We have mid-sized monitors. We have big soffit mounted monitors in recording studios. So it really depends on what you need for your personal studio as to what speaker you're going to select. Now, I had mentioned earlier that I use headphones a lot these days because most people tend to listen in headphones or earbuds. I use these Sony, let's see, these are MDR 7506 headphones. These things last forever. The only thing that goes are the little cones around the ears, but these, this particular head of, uh, set of headphones are about 10 years old and they still sound fantastic. One more thing that's really important about your monitors is the price. Monitors start from $100 for a little tiny set that's even self-powered, that sound half decent, and you can go up to $10,000 for a set of Genelec big studio soffit monitors. I suggest you spend as much money as you can afford on speakers. It does make a big, big difference. And a lot of times, like I said, I just use these headphones. I also have a set of small Genelec monitors in my studio as well, which are super high quality and a subwoofer, that's the other thing. Uh, subwoofers are bass representation speakers. They're usually big and they just make bass. Because my speakers are so small, my, my Genelec speakers are basically about eight by five, They're, or something like that. They're just tiny little speakers like that. They don't produce bass at all. So I have a subwoofer, a Tannoy subwoofer, that I use with them to generate my bass. So I have a three-way speaker, as well as my headphones. And those are the main monitors that I have in my studio at home. The system together cost me about $2,600, but it's worth every single penny. I really recommend you spend money on monitoring. It's very, very important. Basically, a microphone is a transducer. It converts one kind of energy into another kind of energy. We have different kinds of microphones that we use today. 